right, well, we are in Florida again. This is just Sherelle and I this time. For our anniversary weekend, we're in, in Orlando. Now let's find out how we get to the hotel. Uh, I guess it's this way. Is it this one? All right, it does have an hour point in this way, so we go. But yeah, we're gonna go to, if the weather permits, because everywhere I'm trying to go, it said it was gonna rain, so I settled in Orlando, because it had the least amount of chance of rain. We might go to Universal Studios, that's the plan, hopefully. And hopefully the kids do well by themselves. We're gonna keep this going. At the Hyatt Regency, Regency, I think that's how you say it, or re, or, yep, whatever, in Orlando. We have a pool, so if it rains, we're gonna do some stuff around here at the resort, and we'll just keep it going. All right, so we just checked in. Um, we are in a studio suite and it was pretty simple process. I actually like it a lot. Um, smoothest check-in I've ever had at a hotel. They give you a key card, you scan your key card, you check in in an app. You could check in early because we weren't supposed to check in until 3, it's 10.30 now. That means we could get dressed, we could go do what we have to do. Maybe it's sunny out here today so maybe we might hit Universal Studios today. Um, they got a bottle of champagne coming up later tonight at 8 o'clock. Sherelle doesn't drink champagne, but I'm going to drink that thing. All right, so no Universal Studios today because I did it through my Tickets at Work um, site so we could get a discount on it. And it took, it didn't come to my inbox. You got to wait for it to mail to you, email to you. And it's been about an hour and still haven't got here yet. And the website, all our different... <laughs> Weather sites are giving us different times for rain. So what we're probably gonna do is probably just hit it early at opening tomorrow. Maybe today just go grab something to eat, go explore, maybe go to the outlets that we pass, kind of just do all that stuff. And then go get something to eat tonight. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, I guess it is starting to look a little cloudy out there. Nothing too major. Let's see which can you guys see it or does it focus? Might be too bright. I think it's too bright. Yep, it's too bright. Uh, but, yeah, we're going to get something to eat now instead. Alright, going to go find something to eat. Hopefully the wind is not bad, because I didn't get a chance to get one of those little wind muff things. But we're not at the beach today, so it probably won't be an issue. We at? I believe it's called Kerr's Wing House. It's kind of like Hooters, but better, even better food. So we come, every time we could get to one, we come to one in Florida, there we are. So as always, Cheryl and her little candy addiction, we're at a candy store, at an outlet. So with the rain coming, we just finished eating. We decided, let's go to the outlet keep our legs going because we've been up since four o'clock in the morning if we go back to the hotel there's a good chance we might just fall asleep so, um, and I, my goal is to stay up as long as I can for the next 48 hours it looks like it's about to pour badly so it's a good thing we didn't go to Universal Studios today we'll just deal with the cloudiness tomorrow and just hope for the best look at all this stuff Look at Cheryl doing her homework. Talk about an anniversary. But look what Hyatt sent us. They gave us a little happy anniversary thing. A complimentary bottle of champagne. Look at that. That's wonderful. But now it's time to start getting ready to go grab something to eat for dinner. See how the night plays out. Maybe stop down at the lounge area down below. Yeah, we'll see how it works. Um, I was able to print out the tickets for Universal Studios and now the weather seems to be clear. It did pour for a little bit of time, thunder and stuff, lightning. But uh, I guess let me take a step outside. 
Um, I mean, let me not get too close because I don't want to drop my camera. But this is the view. That that's one of the pools. That's a tennis court. Um, I don't know what that is over there, but it's something. And oh, and we got that guy. That just made me feel a little dizzy because I thought about dropping the camera, but um, yeah. So far, so good. We haven't had any complaints so far from the kids. Seems to be working out with Sheree. Sheree's watching the kids actually for us. We're gonna go home on Sunday. Sheree wants to go home early Sunday, but I'm gonna try to weasel in for a couple more extra hours because I'm on vacation. Now we'll see how it goes. Ready? Yep. Look at that. I got all this stuff. <laughs> Why you got a bag of candy? No, this is my shoes. Oh. All right. Look at this craziness here. Why? But we got to take it off. We got to conserve power. No, leave it on. Okay, we'll leave it on. All right, so we are about to go get something to eat. Dinner at one, what's it called? I don't know. I think it's called like One Ocean Bar. A one ocean steakhouse? I don't know. Let's go. Alright, so we are at Ocean Prime Seafood and Takeout. And they kind of set us up in a nice little booth here. Um, we got a card of some sort, it looks like. Let's see what it is. Live music. We didn't even pick it. One, One two, three. All right, so Shro has something to do with this picture and selfies. Well, not this picture, with this mirror. Okay. And selfies. Because it looks good. I guess. I don't take selfies. I just vlog and look at myself. <laughs> it's taking a selfie. It's taking a selfie. <laughs> Oh, all right, well, we are probably going to head down to the little lounge area because it's 10 o'clock now. And I'll be honest with you, I said I was going to sleep for 48 hours earlier today. I might be asleep in the next hour to two. All right, come on. Waking by 4 o'clock is starting to kick me in the butt. So, in all the movies... The guy wakes up in the morning time and goes to get coffee for them. Don't worry about the milk. That's for my, my cake I brought home late yesterday. But the only difference is Sherelle doesn't drink coffee. So let's see if she likes this caramel macchiato. Hello, everyone. I'm not sure if you've ever gone to Universal Studios. I do know that this place I've wanted to go to ever since I was like a little kid. And I've never gotten the chance to go. I did go to Disney World. So I was excited to do that when I was a little kid. But I always wanted to go to Universal Studios because I love movies. Even as a kid, I didn't really watch like um, cartoons and stuff like my sister did and said I watched movies and Disney movies and all that stuff so I'm so freaking excited to go on the ET ride I wanted to go on the Jaws ride but everybody knows that they don't have that anymore they should bring it back because that's exciting and fun so I'm going to have you come along with myself and this sexy guy right here hola there he is again as we go through Universal Studios. There was fancy. He wants to do that. That is fancy. You on vacation? Yeah, okay. Guys. This is the prequel 
to when we go to um, Disney World because we we already know that we're gonna have to spend like five thousand dollars to go so um, I guess he's practicing spending money now <laughs> so we can not be uh, so sad when we got to do it again right now you see me in low lighting Darren said this camera is really good for low lighting so I guess we'll see when we put it on the computer what it looks like well, you just see what it looks like right there oh so why am I red is it because of the car? The car in front of you. Yeah. Oh. Well, this is how it looks in low lighting, friends. Um, it's a Canon something. A Canon. G7X Mark II. Oh, um, there you go. So, uh, it is very dark outside. We are, well, it's not very dark outside. It's very dark inside of this parking deck. So, I figured it would be good to see what I look like um, in very low lighting. And it does look pretty good. We are currently waiting for um, valet parking, and then I'll show you some more of what they have. How much was valet parking? $40. Okay, valet parking, 40 bucks. General parking, 20 bucks. And there was prime parking, prime parking Which was for $30. $30. Prime parking gets you on the main level of the park but there's no telling if you're going to be on the front the back or whatever so we decided to go with prime i'll let you know if i like it so far we're waiting but um it's not about the waiting it's about the walking how far we're we gonna have to walk so we'll see for the fast pass because we're only gonna be here for a day and I can't see our, ourselves waiting a hundred minutes to ride a ride. Uh, but the fast pass is $120 each. It's pretty much another admission ticket. So we'll see if it's worth it. Alright we went on our first ride and so far the fast pass is coming in handy because it was only online for what four minutes? Yeah and before, before we got in there so can't really complain. Yeah let's take let's take a picture. So we are officially in New York City. Jimmy Fallon Live. See the buildings over there. I don't know what that is. Oh, there's the mummy. Let's go to the mummy. Why not? We're already here. It's supposed to rain. I can see the clouds coming in that direction now. Um, hopefully. Good thing about Universal Studios though is all the rides are inside. So it's not roller coasters or anything like that. And, uh, Ideally, we should it should have slowed down. That's gonna be fun. All right, so it started to rain. We're in a Hogwarts section, about to ride the Harry Potter ride. It did a pretty good job. And it looks like they serve beer, which is great. We outlasted the rain by going on Jimmy Kimmel live. Harry Potter was actually a fun ride. All the rides so far have been great. You know, like Sherelle said, they're pretty short, so good thing we have the fast pass because on average we're waiting, what, maybe 12, 13 minutes each? Yeah. So that's a big difference than the 111 minutes that they vote. That they but now we're going to go to Men in Black. <laughs> Men in Black, ride, you ready? Oh, wait. Oh, you got you. 
<laughs> All right, well, it is uh, our day at Universal might be over. We've been here since what, 10 o'clock, 11? 10. 10, 10, 5 o'clock now. We hit every ride that they have. How was it? I thought it was fun. I'm tired. I'm really tired. We had a good night of sleep last night. We was asleep by midnight. Tonight I might be sleep by. Not me. Nine o'clock. I gotta make the most of this now. I was supposed to make the most of it yesterday. And I was tired though. But now let's go find the car. <laughs> 